what is going on everybody welcome to the 18th tutorial of bootstrap in which I'm gonna show you how you can create a simple form with the help of bootstrap CSS files now let's get started now bootstrap already includes a lot of predefined styles for your forms which makes it easy and beautiful rather to code forms so first of all write your form attribute obviously then a class now assign it a class of form horizontal now what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a horizontal level of form so this is your first input let's say this is second this is third this is fourth this is fifth so by default what happens is if you type two inputs and just leave them they will just you know kind of um, stack up in a single line but the form horizontal kind of creates a horizontal layout for your forms so yeah so now the next thing you want to create is a form group now this would just create a simple container for your you can say your a single input type so that you can just keep all the labels which would you use for your input and your you know just anything you want a help text in place so just write a label and inside this let's just write your name and with this label I'm gonna write an input of class form control now this is a predefined class in bootstrap and I'm just gonna show you that as well in a while and just add this as a text why not and just you know that's pretty much it for this and we can add another field here your email address and you can change that to email if you want to doesn't make any difference so you see we have got two horizontal form layouts right here and uh, as you can see these are in a separate line so if you inspect element this you see the form control makes it a width of 100% and all those styles so what if you want to make these in a uh, same line now obviously you have the option to modify the CSS but why play with CSS when bootstrap already provides you with such options remember the lesson from the grids yeah so we are making use of some grids now so let's just say let's just enclose this or rather let's just provide a class to it only let's just say this is a column and let's just say for small screens and I want to give it a width of um, let's just say 3 maybe and uh, for this input we have to enclose this in a div because this input is already having a width of 100% with this so you know we can't play around with that and inside this div what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write call sm and 9 obviously because these two should sum up to 12 let's reload and as you can see this looks kind of vague because I guess I have provided too much width for this name so let's just reduce this to 1 and this one to 11 and let's reload again and now it is too low how about 2 and uh, we are good to go kind of you can say and to make this centered vertically vertically centered what you can do is you can make use of this control label now what this does is I'm just gonna show you so you see that it not only centers you know vertically but it kind of aligns um, in a better way with the input as well so similarly we can do this for the second form group as well and your email address 
and this is email and uh, let's just keep the settings same for this and see what happens so you see that it automatically assigns <coughs> with a possible width so yeah so that's it for the forms and we'll be creating some more forms in the next tutorial so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching